Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're not getting sound when you're trying to connect your audio device via an HDMI cable or cord or something along those lines. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward and easy tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match should say services. You want to right click on that one time and then left click on run as administrator. So now you want to go ahead and locate the Windows audio service. So just scroll down on this listing here. So it should say Windows audio pretty clearly in the name of the service here. So let me just get back to that. Once you've left click on Windows Audio over on the left side, you want to left click on where it says restart the service. So once it's been restarted, try and play the device again so you've resolved the problem. I'd also suggest restarting your computer with your device, your audio device, your TV already hooked up to your computer. Hopefully it will recognize the sound at that point as well. If you're still having problems, we close out of here. I would also suggest considering going on the manufacturer's website to see if there's any drivers for your version of Windows as well. So go ahead, look on the manufacturer's site. So for whatever your TV or whatever the audio device is, see if there's any drivers that are applicable to your computer. Another thing you can try would be to go back to Star Menu, type in Device Manager. Best match should come back with Device Manager. Left click on that one time here. Now you want to go down to the audio inputs and outputs, expand that. Now I would suggest opening up whatever your speakers are here, so double click on that. Go underneath driver, try updating the driver, see if there's any updates available for it, so search automatically. So again, check that out. If you see any audio drivers listed in here, again, go online and look them up as well. It's always worth a shot. I don't really think it's necessary to try and uninstall and then restart your computer and they'll be reinstalled. I mean, you guys are welcome to try that as well. But generally speaking, I don't know how successful that would be. But again, that is another option you could consider. So again, just be patient. This will take a moment to run. So I might say the best drivers are already installed. Close out of here. That's usually what it says. So nothing too surprising with that. But I do hope that one of the methods I showed or discussed in this tutorial are, are applicable to you guys and are able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.